you build a machine recently with one terabyte of RAM. Uh, how did that happen and why? So we uh, have a project called GitHub Primes. If you just search for GitHub Primes, it'll, you'll find it. And it GitHub is Primes. a single set of prime number algorithms implemented in about 100 different languages. So it's the exact same algorithm, and we require that you follow certain rules to make it fair. Mm -hmm. And then you express that algorithm in whatever language you choose to the best of your ability. And we run a benchmark every night, and we compile the results and find out which languages are fastest. Is this the one? Yeah. Oh, so this is, uh, so yeah, you got it. <laughs> and this is what the, you're using this for? Yeah. Oh, so, so this machine runs that those tests? Yes. Okay, you got to tell me about this project. This is an epic project. So you're comparing the performance of the different programming languages. They have all these languages. So they all get built into an individual Docker container, and then they all run. And this so is an incredible project. This is really, really cool. It's really measuring the performance of the different languages. So what, what have you learned about which languages, uh, like, who, which language usually wins? Zig, I think right now. Zig. It does, it varies. People will make an improvement to the C++ and it'll pass for a while and then the Zig guys will get angry and come back and make it faster. So Zig, Rust, C++, C. Like, yeah. And what kind of code is being run? What's the piece of code that they're trying to run to measure the performance? So what they're doing is they're solving the primes up to 100 million as many times per second as they can in a five second loop. It, so it's a loop. Got it. Over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, on all cores. So what across all CPUs? What about like how the program is written? Does that vary? No. So you can do anything you want, but it has to be a prime sieve. You're allowed to use one bit per integer at most. So you can't use a byte, which is cheaper and easier. Mm -hmm. um, there are a number of rules like that that you have to allocate the memory within your timed loop. And so we have a set of rules, and we have uh, some solutions that don't follow the rules, like the 6502, because you've only got 64K, you can't do 100 million SIV. So there's a lot of solutions like that that we run as exhibition projects. But among the main languages, they all follow the same rules. And so it really should just be the, how the algorithm is expressed in that language. And many of them use the same backend compiler. So it really is how you're expressing it and the limitations or the benefits of that language. Are there allowed to be multiple submissions per language? Yeah. Yeah. So if, yeah. if you look in the C, there's like five, I think. Okay. And they, they, some of them might use different compilers or no? Yeah, some are GCC, some are CLang, LLVM. I'm looking at a snapshot here from a couple of years ago. Zig was at the top, then Rust, then Nim, Haskell. Oh no, this is not, this is not ordered by uh, slowness or is it? Yep. So it C is. would be 1.5 times as long as Zig. Wow. Okay. Fascinating. What's well, a super cool project? Yeah, we've got in crazy languages like PowerShell. There's a version in PowerShell and stuff like that so so this is automated like in terms of organization of like how the submissions are done there's a structure to it that's cool yeah there's two guys over in uh europe uh rucker and tutor basically own this now i started as just three languages i did python c sharp and c plus plus and i checked them in and i published the episode and then people started throwing more solutions in there and it just got out of hand so i had to get somebody to manage that one and they've been great doing that for me What's the happiest moment for you when you're programming and building a thing? Like, what do you enjoy most? I think the, the most fun for me is when I build something complex and I thought through how it should work and then I run it and it does work that way, mm -hmm. that creates intense satisfaction. So seeing the results come out the way that I plan them and have it work, because it rarely yeah. does the first time, but. Yeah. Or especially if it does work the first time. No I problem. never trust that. I always feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but you know, with compiled languages like um, with C plus plus, that's always a good feeling. You write a bunch of code, you compile, and it all compiles without warnings, without errors. It's a cool feeling. 